What's up guys, it's Easy McQueen here, back with another video, and today, we're going to be talking about Xbox at E3, and just some announcements. So, the Microsoft press conference kicked off the official name and final look of the company's new console, the Xbox One X, and then proceeded to focus on 4K and how many games would have it. All said, there was 42 games showed off during the press conference, with more than a half exclusive to the Microsoft console. There are also details about some neat new features coming to the platform. Below you'll find a quick summary on the biggest news coming out of Microsoft's E3 2017 press conference. So prog uh, Project Scorpio got a locked in design, specs, and an official name, price, and date. Microsoft's powered up new Xbox is officially named the Xbox One X. X B.O.X. It features some impressive but already known specs. It, it's the smallest form factor and will cost 499 US dollars when it's November 7th worldwide. If you would want to know the final specs of the Microsoft Scorpio, it will contain 40, um, the GPU will contain 40 Radeon compute units running at 1172 MHz, comparing to the PS4 Pro 911 MHz and the Xbox One 853 MHz on the CPU side. There's cust uh, 8 custom 8, 8, 6, X86 cores at 2.3 GHz. 31% faster than the original Xbox One. Uh, while the Xbox One has eight Jaguar cores at 1.7 giga, uh, 1.75 gigahertz, since it's six terabytes of computing power. Scorpio will offer 50% more memory than the PS4 Pro, going up to 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. Eight gigabytes which is available to developers, and four gigabytes which is reserved for the system. With a total bandwidth of 326 gigabytes, the Xbox One reserves 3, gig 3 gigabytes of RAM, but Scorpio needs to run its interface at 4K resolution. The console contains inter internal power supply and uses the same ca uh, power cable as the Xbox One is, so people who are upgrading can just swap the systems. Project Scorpio uh, 8. I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat it. Eight custom eight uh, x86 cores clocked at th uh, 2.3 gigahertz. 40 customized compute units at 1,172 megahertz. 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Memory bandwidth is 326 gigabytes. Hard drive is one terabyte, 2.5 inch, and the optical drive is 4K UHD Blu-ray. And some more stuff that was talking about at the Xbox E3 besides the Project Scorpio is oh, um five already released first party games and thirty third party games will be receiving enhancements for the Xbox One X. We're told that means it it isn't exactly clear. <laughs> um so Xbox has a backwards compatibility as in compatibility for the original Xbox games. It's coming to the Xbox One. We didn't learn a lot about uh, what will be entailed, but we will you know, but we were told a lot of those original games will feature enhanced graphics when played on the Xbox One. Um in BioWare and Anthem uh, you play as a sort of flying power suit wearing explorer in a deadly planet filled with giant monsters and some lovely scenery. The custom javelin suit grant plays superhuman capabilities. Three million people play Battleground. The player unknown Battlegrounds. And it's coming to Xbox One. Player unknown himself, Brendan Green, took the stage to announce that the popular Battle Royale PC shooter is coming to Xbox One exclusively. The game is coming to the console late 2017 with the Xbox One enhancements. So about PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds, it will be a launch um, 
a Xbox One X launch exclusive. But it could maybe be put on the PS4 in the future. So, and then Minecraft gets 4K graphics and an upgrade that unifies all versions of the game. The Better Together update delivers community marketplace massive servers cross platform play to the console version of the game this summer. This update will unify Minecraft across mobile, Windows 10, VR, and Xbox. The super duper graphics packs also hits this fall. Yo, that's what's up. Crackdown 3 is awesome, but we already knew that. Terry Crews kicked off with the new trailer for the upcoming sequel to Crackdown 2 with a pep talk. Turns out that he's in the game as commands, uh, Commander Jackson. Crackdown 3 returns with you to the agency at the Super Cop Unleashing Mayhem in Open World. It hits Xbox One and Windows 10 on November 7th. Me uh, Metro Exodus returns player to the post a pop uh apoptic world in twenty eighteen. Developer four A games blew the audience away with the amazing video showing off what the first four K Metro game will look like. So far we only knew it's coming to Xbox One and Windows ten. Assassin's Creed Origins takes place in ancient Egypt. Assassin's Creed is back. This time it's the origins of assassins and a story that takes place in ancient Egypt. Assassin's Creed Origins is confirmed to be released October 27th on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. It's later on the Xbox One X, which comes out November 7th. The Shadow of War demo showed off a delightful orc named Bros the Chopper. Our first in first in-depth look at the sequel of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor showed off a recruitment run for the Norks to build out an army as you prepare for an uh, assault on the massive Sindel being held by a two-headed troll. The demo helped to highlight the new Nemesis system and showcase the beautiful look of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. So Forza is so popular that Porsche decided to debut its new car at E3. Forza 7 runs at a 4K native with locked in 60 frames per second. But perhaps more interesting is the Porsche or Porsche Porsche, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Uh pulled back the curtains on its new rolls. New real world supercar, the Porsche 911 GT GT2 RS at E3. The game ships on Windows 10 and Xbox One October 3rd. On top of the major moments of the show were a huge amount of trailers gameplay for other games like Life is Strange prequel, Cuphead. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna nod my head at Cuphead. I don't, I don't eh. stated to okay, who. Hooray! Or not, that's not a game I just said, hooray. A Deep Rock Galactic and many, many more. E3 begins on June 13th with press conferences starting June 10th. For big announcements, make sure to watch E3 on twitch.tv slash twitch. Now, if you would like to know any more on the E3 on Xbox, please, I'll, I'll be leaving a link down in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, and please make sure to enjoy the rest of this game, uh, gameplay.